Hello, Matthew Gatos here. In this video, we're going to look at finding a value of k in our quadratic to make this quadratic have two real equal roots. Well, let's talk about what that means, two real and equal roots. That sounds a little bit odd, doesn't it? If they are real, first of all, it knows that I have an x-intercept that exists. And if they are equal, it means they're the same thing. So having two real equal roots really just means I'm having one x-intercept. So let's look at our quadratic equation. Our quadratic equation is opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So I want to look at what value of the discriminant will lead me to have two equal roots. So again, the discriminant is the radicand of the square root. So for me to have two real and equal roots, that means I'm adding and subtracting some sort of a number and then dividing by 2a. Well, what is the only number you can add and subtract by and not change its value? Well, the only number that you can do that for is zero. So that means that my discriminant must be zero because if I have negative b plus zero, that's negative b. If I have negative b minus zero, that's also negative b. So now I know this means my discriminant must equal zero. So in terms of my equation, I have kx squared plus 4x plus 0 0.5. Let's look at that quadratic in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c. So my discriminant we've already established has to be zero. The discriminant is the radicand of the quadratic formula. And now let's just substitute our values in. So I know that B is 4. I know that A is K. And my C value is 0 0.5. So I just have this equation that I need to solve. So I have 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, or 16. Negative 4 times K is negative 4K. And half of that is negative 2K. So I can add 2K to both sides. And I get that 16 is equal to 2k, divide both sides by 2, and k is 8. So now I know the value of k, it is equal to 8, b is my answer. But what does that actually mean? Well, if you go back to your quadratic, kx squared plus 4x plus 0 0.5, that means that 8x squared, oh, let me try that again, 8x squared plus 4x plus 0 0.5. That means that that has two real equal roots or one x-intercept. Well, what type of a quadratic has only one x-intercept? That means that this is a perfect square trinomial. So it only has one x-intercept, and if you were to graph it, it would only intersect the x-axis in one point. So I hope this video helped, and I look forward to seeing you for the next one.